All right, yes, thank you very much for staying with us once again. We are bringing you the highlights of the race. That is the four by 100 meters race, the women's race, as well as the men's race. The women's race will come first and then the men's race will follow where we had Ghana versus Nigeria. Mm -hmm. was a, another KG, KG encounter. Uh, that is Ghana versus Nigeria. Giddy, giddy, bang. You are going to enjoy everything in the next video. So do all to subscribe to the channel, like this video, hit the notification bell and select or leave your thoughts and comments below let me know your thoughts comments views opinions about how you saw the race um let me know everything in the comment section thank you very very much for staying with us let's go and enjoy the four by hundred um or four by one meters race um the women's one and then the men's one will follow kg kg encounter pay attention and just to put into context what is at stake here ghana did not medal in this event at the 2019 it was the Nigerians who won first place, South Africa in second place, Kenya in third place. But from the semi-final lineup, the dynamics have changed. Nigeria will be in lane three, Ghana will be in lane four. What a race we have in prospect, Fed. Absolutely. That's South Africa. Watch out for the Liberians also in lane six. Right oh. next to the South Africans in lane five. They won their heats, they Liberia. Did. Ethiopia in lane seven, Namibia out in lane eight. And in the inside lanes are Burkina Faso in one and Kenya in two. Remember, not a single one of the Nigerian quartet from five years ago is in this race. Instead, they've drafted in Toby Abusan for the anchor leg of their 4x100 meter relays. Well, we say she's a consummate professional. Less than an hour after she won the women's 100 meters hurdles final, she's back on track to attempt to win a second gold medal in one day for herself. So and starting for up. Burkina Faso is Milogo Latifatu. Kenya's uh, B. Wimi is starting. Nigeria's Justina Tiana. A Yakubi Young is starting. Ghana's Mary Boate will start. Kubeka Findley will start for South Africa. Vanele Whitney will start from uh, Liberia. Jaso Guyo will start for Ethiopia. And for Namibia. They will start with Hangneni. Um, from the heat in 38.67 seconds. Nigeria were second fastest, 38.70 seconds. Completely different races. Liberia qualified third fastest. And these three countries are all winners of their heats. Uh, Liberia finished with 38.86 seconds. That's just to give you the, an idea of the pace that is in these teams. And the obvious favorites will be the race between Ghana, Nigeria and the Liberians. But can someone pull a surprise against these teams that run the fastest times in the heats? Is the women's 4 by 100 meters? Really? And they are away. The final of the 4 by 100 meter relay. The Ghanaians are at a really great start. But so are the Liberians as well. And for Liberia, it's Ebony Lee running really well. The changeover is smooth. The Ghanaians are coming through from Mensa. Mensa is running great. But so is Nigerians on Lajide as well. But look at Liberia. Strong changeover. Oh, the changeover is not smooth for Liberia. But the Nigerians are off on the inside lane. Right now, for Nigeria, it's Fohan. Fohan has the lead. She's running incredibly. Hands over to Toby Amusan. There's no catching her. Her holiday of Ghana is chasing shadows. Look at Liberia's arm collect. It's Carrie Josephine and her holiday for second. But Nigeria takes the gold. Liberia with the silver. Ghana settles for bronze. And Toby Amusan, the express, has brought Nigeria home. That is how you run an arm collect. Barely one hour. After, after an individual uh, gold medal. It all came down to the smoothness of the Nigerian transitions and how they finished it. When Toby Amusan got this battle and there was no doubt who was going to win this, win this race and she simply piled past them. And the real race really was between Ni Liberia and Ghana. But Horse simply did not have enough to append the Li Ni Liberians. And take note, the Liberians almost had an incident at the point of changing the baton. Absolutely. But they still recovered to run the final leg but the nigerians undisputed and they could not be contested in this race they got their technique right they got their changeover right and when you have a world-class athlete like toby amusan even when she had run just about an hour earlier in the 100 meters hurdles you have no doubt when she starts from the front 
that she's going to end up winning. Smooth changeover and excellent execution by the Nigerians. Ghana has to settle for bronze, but Liberia. Nobody was talking about Liberia before this competition. I did. And they came out of nowhere, won their heat in 38.86 seconds, and they have nailed a famous silver medal in the women's 4 by 100 meters race. Kudos to the Liberians. Absolutely. Kerry, just think. Area, Ghana, Botswana, and Zimbabwe. The final of the men's. And there's unfinished business between the Ghanaians and the Nigerians. Ghana upstaging the Nigerians at the 2019 African Games in Rabat to set an African Games record. 38.30, I remember that. And, um, yep. And interestingly, it's only Eshekiri Oshio Richik who survived from the quartet from Nigeria that won the silver medal. He was the one that ran the ankle leg that yeah. uh, Joseph Paul Amwa beat. And the same so. Joseph Paul Amwa is in this 2023 African Games. Yes. And Benjamin Azamati is in this one as well, will be running in the back straight. So Kenya's uh, starting leg will be run by a Hedgeborn Oduo. With Waweru, Samuel Waweru in the second leg. Odambo Onyango is in the third leg. And Asamba Dan Kiviasi is in the ankle leg for Kenya. And in terms of qualifying, again, Ghana. And Nigerians have never forgiven Ghana. They have waited for 20 years. Actually, 21 years to be pre precise. And here in Accra, the Nigerians will relish the chance to win the game. Not just that, but to rain on Ghana's parade. Here. And exact a painful revenge. Absolutely. And they would really enjoy that. And I can't wait for the interviews at the mixed zones and in the press conferences. But there are other contenders. We saw the Nigerians running very strongly. We saw uh, Botswana running very strongly. So this is, by, as well. this is by no means a Ghana versus Nigeria race. Zimbabwe will, will fancy having a look in. And again, look at that ankle leg for both Ghana and Nigeria. The ankle leg is absolutely part because Liberia have got Joseph Fambule, Ghana have got Joseph Paul Amor, and Nigeria have got the individual silver medalist, Ishiriki. And then Gambia have got Ibrahima Kamara as well. So that is a phenomenal ankle leg awaiting everyone. Unfortunately, the Cameroonians will look on with regret. They missed this final. Meters Kenya, Zambia, Nigeria, Gambia, Liberia, Ghana. With Zimbabwe completing the lineup of the what a race lane. we have in prospect. We'll wait for the gun to go. The final of the men's four by one hundred meter relay. And off they go. There's no turning back now. The final of the men's four by one hundred meter relay. The Nigerians are going very strongly. Edwin Gadai is already being caught by on the back straight for Ghana is uh, Benjamin Azimati. But Nigerians uh, Okon is also running really well. Very well run. Oh, uh, so Mohammed is being handed over by Benjamin. Azamati Hamon is going up against Alaba Olukule of Nigeria. This is it now. The ankle leg. It's Oh, the Ghanaians have. Oh, it looks like they were dropping the baton, but they did it. It's Shalishi against uh, Joseph Paul Amor. It's a race for one and two. Ghana, Nigeria. Nigeria have got it. Yes, on the line. They have exacted revenge on the Ghanaians. And the gold medal will go to Nigeria. It's a sweet, sweet, sweet revenge for Nigeria. On home soil, they have shocked the Ghanaians. Ghana will have to settle for silver, but there's a bit of controversy. Wait for it. What's happening? Well, the, oh, Nigerians it's have it. the Nigerians have it. The Nigerians have it. It was a bomb storming run from JP. However, there was a lapse in the change here. And for a moment, JP hesitated. And that cost him a few seconds. Ichiriki with an almost perfect handover. But watch Paul from Ghana. And tried to close the gap. He almost overwhelmed him at the line. And it
have it. And just look at Oshiriki, focused, moving towards the line. He saw the Ghanaian at the corner of his eye. Every sinew of energy that he had within him, he took towards the line. And he fell and in he the fell end in the process. He had to That's dip. just how determined he was. He had to dip. And he at the finish of the race, he wasn't even sure whether he had done enough to win it because of the sheer acceleration that the Ghanaian came into the well, Nigeria race finally had their revenge. A sweet revenge. Ghana got the gold in this event in 2003 in front of Nigerian fans in uh, Abuja in 2003. And the Nigerian have done exactly the well, same they thing. The fever. And they will celebrate. You can see how much it means to them. You can see how much it means to them. And the, as the chairman of the Athletics Association here in Ghana would try to console the Ghanaians. There was a lot of... No, 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 no. <laughs> Nigeria has won two gold medals with a 4 by 100 relay finals. Yes, the women's and the men's. Nigeria winning the both gold medals in an, a very, very KG encounter. But Ghana managed to win um, bronze and then silver. Bronze in the women's and then silver in the men's relay. Fantastic one. Thank you for staying with us. I'll see you in the next one.